Afrobeat artists are making more and more Amaviano songs, not deep Amaviano but combined with Afrobeat. In this video, I wanna show you how to make them. The one we're gonna create today is inspired by Young Jung, Davido, and Asake. Let's have some fun. First, let's fix our tempo. We're gonna go 112, something like that. And uh, uh, let's start by adding this shaker. And put it on right here. Start with the drums. Um, let me try to get the kick. Just right, right here. So uh, I'm gonna get this kick. Just right here, and then boom. Right there. Village first step for the kick. Like we have something like that. And then um maybe let's see if we can find some I had. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one too. I don't know, um, maybe we can go with this one. Uh. Something like that. This right here. Let's try this one right here. And then we can go boom, boom, something like that. Nice. Nice, it's gonna be the same thing over and over. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate the same thing. And, uh, but let's just add this crash right here. That's gonna make you feel the vibe. And then we duplicate this one like that. And for the rest of it, it's gonna be the same thing over and over. Now we should do this one right here. It survived already. One thing to consider when you're doing Ama Piano, once you listen to the drum pattern, it should give you this vibe, this bounce that can make people dance. If you don't find the bounce yet, you have to work more on the drum. If you play these drums, you will see that it gives you the vibe, the, the rhythm, you, we have it already. Since this instrumental we are creating is not uh, pure ama piano, we're gonna try to find a nice chord progression. Normally, when you listen to Nigerian making ama piano or Afrobeat combined with ama piano, they really try to come with some jazzy chord. That means you use an e piano that's gonna bring the soul to the instrumental, and then after you have the drum that give you this bounce, that give you this rhythm. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to come up with a nice chord progression and then add some melody to do so we're gonna use the lounge laser e piano and use the bass preset we start with the woods note and this one we're gonna keep it longer and then we get back with a right here and now And alt also can play with the velocity and then maybe let's go with the major right here I 
something like that. Nice. Woo. The one that we can do, we can definitely copy the low note and then we add them on the top of it. And one thing I definitely like to do to make it sound full too, so we can have this bassy sound, we just duplicate it and then we copy them one octave lower and then we press on Alt X again and then we lower them, we make them play lower than the first chord. Nice. Nice. Guys, this is a nice chord progression, but one thing that I really need to do is to mix the chord progression. And, and let's see if we can add some reverb first. I might use the uh, fruity reverb too. Don't add too much reverb, and also uh, we can try to use the uh, ritual color, and then use the second preset, move the noise, and then nice. So nice, now that we have our corporation, we have our drum, we're gonna try to bring this violin that they use. They use it a lot and it's always sound nice. Now we're gonna try to create this violin using a factory plugin. As you can see, I'm not home, I'm in a new setup. I'm trying to move into a new location and sorry for the noise, as you can see. And also I'm going to try to play with my Play the melody with my laptop keyboard. So let's try to find something. Okay, let's record that real quick. Now let's try to make everything sound nice or to put everything on key on time sorry Sound nice, I really love it guys. It's a nice string melody. And now we're gonna try to add a let's try to add a bass line. Let's use morphine again. There's a preset that I save called bass moody. But first let me try to play with the velocity on the e piano and then make it sound more interesting. Now let's go with the bass and it's gonna be a simple bass.
and then we'll go down right here. It's like the woods node. Then we take this, this one right here. We can. Mm, mm, mm. Now guys, to complete the cup that we have, I'm gonna add a piano melodies. And to make it more interesting, we're gonna write it to a mixer channel and then add a bunch of flavor on it. And also add some delay. I think everything sounds nice now we need some crazy log jumps before we get into the jumps let me introduce you to today's sponsor skisha skisha is an online learning community with thousands of aspiring classes if you want to explore your creativity and learn new skills here comes skisha for us beatmakers there is a ton of great classes music theory guitar lesson piano lesson beat making mixing mastering and more i'm currently taking a beginner guitar class with taylor gimbal it's helped me a lot in my learning guitar journey. But that to say, I think you should join Skisha and take advantage of many classes available on the platform. You can join by clicking the link in the description box. The first thousand people to use the link in the description box will get one month free trials of Skisha. Now, let's get back to the video. The logo is making a lot of noise. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use those footage, but let me show you exactly what I did. For the log jump, I combine three different presets from um, the preset that I have. The Sami log vibe, which is this one. And also I have the top to add this attack and then I have the low end. And when, when I combine everything together, they give you this one. So let me play them one by one so we can do it.
this one is like that oh sorry let me play this at the attack and then right here i wanted to add this low vibe to it So nice like that and then we have this vibe right here. And then also I just add those near yeah, the light and marvel. And we have it like that. Now I'm going to make it a little so we can have an idea on how this is gonna sound. I think I'm gonna add this one on my EP also because I love the vibe. I can't wait to get back to my setup so I can record without any of those issues, you see what I mean? I'm going to do the little arrangement of camera and then get back with the final result for you. The arrangement is pretty simple. I have an intro and then I have the first verse, the chorus that come and then we have the one that come right there with the log drum this is a pretty simple vibe so you can hear how it's gonna sound i think i'm gonna create a song with it and get back on the channel and share everything with y'all now enjoy That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. See you guys in the next one.